with another disturbance in the crowd. You watch, saw people standing up at ringside, turning round. That was what all that was about. Certainly wouldn't want to turn round for too long and miss any of this, would you? No, it's been, it's been a very good fight. You know, people people have paid, like you said, people have paid a lot of money to come here. We've got two. The two good boys and they're just, try, just trying to outbox each other now. You know, the, most of the fight has been played uh, in a corner of the ring. They're both trying to fight each other, now they're trying to outbox each other. So this, this bout has had a bit of everything, had a bit of boxing, a bit of fighting, had some big punches, had some good counters, some good body shots. Just really two good boys in the, in the ring at the moment. They're both showing that they've got decent chins as well. Bell, you got question marks about him, but he's taken some big shots from Cleverly. Yeah, you know, they, I know they mentioned Crash Marshall barely chin. We got caught by a, a thunderous puncher with a swinging shot, cold yeah, exactly. of a fight. I mean, Oval McKenzie could knock a, knock a dent in a chieftain tank, couldn't he? <laughs> yeah, you know, and he swung that right hand in there, caught him high, and he'll done very well to get up off the floor. Good footwork from Cleverly, the crowd responding to the aggression of Bellew, but Cleverly skipped away out of that corner so neatly. Too many clean scoring shots landed in this round. Or well, power shots, I should say. No, Both like, of them contending, content to jab. Like I said, they don't turn out box each other this long. And that Be is working well behind that jab. He's, you know, he's, he surprised me with the jab that he's got. Well, he said to me yesterday when I interviewed him, trust me, he said, I can I can jab just as well, if not better than Nathan Cleverly, and I'll prove it. Yeah, he's definitely proven it tonight. He's, 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 he's picked up, he's picked up on a something Nathan falls for on that double jab he, he keeps blocking the first one and he keeps back in court with the second one could be a real wafer thin decision this one if it goes the distance of course yeah of course they've got a couple more rounds to go three after this one Close round. Yeah, I think I think I'd give it to Tony Bailey just with the jab. You know, he's been landing a lot with the jab. He's been he's been controlling the pace in this round. I don't know whether Nathan's having a I don't know if he's feeling the pace or he's just having a round out. Very clever defensively though, Nathan cleverly. Yeah, he hasn't been, been caught a whole lot, very clean. Hard round to score that. Like I said, I just give it a battle with the cleaner jabs. And you know that's what that that's what that but that round was, it was just a battle of jabs. Let's see if we can listen into this corner. Step on him after you throw your two jabs with a one two, yeah? yeah. Right two, right two. He's, all, he's waiting for the body shot, right two. Okay. You'll be good, Sam. Look at that. Dig in that one. Sharp. 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 Come on, dig in the loss. You want to be tender, you will? Yeah. Dig in the loss. Sharp. Fast hands. Fast hands. Don't worry, Dan. Remember, look at me. Oh, shades of uh, Teddy Atlas with Michael Moore there, wasn't it? Do you want to be champion of the world? Yeah, he's a bit of Jimmy Chibbs or psychology to that then. You know, he's, he's been there, he's done it, he's been with people other fighters in the past, he knows what works, he knows what gets fighters up. Three rounds remaining. It is close. Good shot from Cleverly, nice right hand. And yes, Sean, Tony took it very well. Payback time. Yeah, come back, one, one as clean as the one Nathan caught him with. But Nathan's been looking for them shots all night, just making him fall short with that jab, and then right hand over the top. Now left hand from Cleverly. Maybe just still looking the fresher of the two. Yeah, he does. He hands down this and he hands down low, but he's relying on his reflexes. He's looking for that. He's, he knows barely thrown a lot of jabs. He's trying to tie that right hand over the top.
A little bit of energy conservation as well from the two, I think. Yeah, we've had a, we've had a couple of rounds but on the box in rather than the, the fight in. It's, it's, been a, it's been a hectic pace from round one. If it goes to the last round, those last three minutes, it's going to be a barn burner. No, people don't realise you can train as hard as you want, you can get in there fully prepared. But when, when you're in a fight like this, in this sort of environment, this sort of heat, it takes it out of you. Oh, big right hand from Bellew this time. Oh, oh a terrific right hand from Bellew. That was a massive right hand by Tony Bellew then. Cleverly takes it well, though. Landed absolutely flush. The boos of the Cleverly, who raised his arm, as much as to say to the fans, yep, he landed, but I took it. Yeah, he took it very well. He was a massive right hand. I, you know, I think he had a little reaction, but he, he instantly recovered. But it, that was a massive right hand from Tony Bailey. What a good round again. Well, Bellew has proved... He's proved himself, really, tonight as a fighter. There are a lot of people who are saying... People, arguably, who should know a little bit better that he's no more than a Commonwealth-level fighter. Well, he's shown he's a world-level fighter tonight. Yeah, without doubt, some of his boxing has been brilliant. That, that jab, you know, there's not many people who can out out-jab Nathan, and that's exactly what he's done most of the fight. But he, he, he scouted Nathan well, and he knows uh, he falls for that double jab, and you know, that's he's been shooting off all through the fight. Cleverly thinks he won that round. Bellew thinks he won that round. I, I think I'd have to give it a Bellew. Close one. I don't know. Is Let's it watch not? some of the action again. Lovely right down from Nathan. And here comes the big Bellew attack. I think it was the second one. Cool. Lovely shot. He took me well though. Got a few, few hats off in Nathan. I was a, I was a massive right hand and he took me well. Well, that was a terrific round. If you're watching with us at home, you'll have your own idea of who you think's winning this fight. That last round could have gone either way, in my opinion. Enzo's given it to Tony Bellew. If it goes the other way, well, that would have been all square again. Now, just two rounds remaining, six minutes to determine who's going to be WBO champion of the world. Nathan Locke said he'd been told in his corner to come out strong come out fast and put, put his punches together. <laughs> Interestingly, Interestingly, I've just had a word with Richie Woodall, and he's concurring with what we are saying, and so he's got Tony Bellew by a round. Yeah, you know, some of these some of these rounds are very close. The whole fight has been very close. I think Bellew's just as better jabbing, has been picking up some of the rounds, especially the close ones. There's actually the a couple of jabs of landed and the way he's controlling it. Bellew trying to be the strong man in there, trying to apply the pressure in this 11th round. Might all go down to the last round. That could be decisive. Now it's close quarters, now it's strength and stamina. Yeah, you know, this is where the fight has been played most of the night, but they've had a couple of rounds, they try to outbox each other. I think Nathan realises he needs to get in close and start working with Bailey. Head of Cleverly coming into play. Trying to work the body of Bailey again. <laughs> 